been about two months since I did the review for the Meta Ray-Ban glasses. Tank, Tiny, I love you guys. I'll be back soon. And I wanted to do a follow-up to go over after two months, are they still worth it? Are they worth the price tag? Do I still use them for everything that I was using them in the original video? After the honeymoon phase, what do I think? And to not keep you guys waiting until the end, absolutely. I think that they are amazing for what they are. However, I've been using them for sort of different purposes more so than the original video. So one of the ways that I've been using it a lot more than I originally intended or originally used them in the, in the first video is I've been using the audio feature a heck of a lot more. Let me explain. So if I take my dogs for a walk or I go for a walk by myself or, you know, if I need to run out somewhere, having them on is just, it's nice because I don't have to remember my AirPods. I'm always, I always have accessibility to phone calls and all that. I mean, yeah, you may look a little funny. Like, I mean, I look a little funny right now vlogging out here in front of the house anyway, but you may look a little funny talking and nobody sees any headphones or anything, but nobody's paying attention to you anyway. So it's just nice to have that. Like I've had phone calls while I'm holding on to things where like normally you would let it go to voicemail because it's, you know, in your pocket or whatever. I would just pick up and start having a conversation. As far as the photo aspect and the video aspect, which is, I think originally when I got it, that was the reason that I was the most excited about. I still use it for that reason, but it's a little different. So now if I see something I'm driving and I see like a cool car or something like that, I'll hit it so I can get a quick photo, but I understand now the nuances. So I don't just hit it and expect it to take it. I hit it, I know a second, boom, and then I almost time it when it's gonna hit. When it comes to video, it's also sort of become like a safety thing, which I, I wasn't thinking about, but I really, I like, it's, it's a great thing. I was at this dealership recently and I was about to test drive a car and there was somebody just flipping out, like cursing, yelling. I don't know what the deal was. I don't know if he was just disgruntled. I don't know who was right and who was wrong, but I just started recording because I'm like, you know what? If something pops off, he's not paying attention to me. He's not seeing me recording, but I'm recording and seeing, okay, if something goes on, you know, at least there's some footage of that. It has become nice to have that. Now, a few things that I have noticed that maybe aren't perfect is sometimes I'll put them on and it takes, I don't know, maybe like 15 seconds or so until it finally connects to your phone, which is not a long time. It's not a big deal, but it's something that I wanted to mention to you guys because it is something that I've encountered. So maybe you'll encounter it as well. I spoke with Sergio who gave me the glasses and he says he hasn't experienced any of that. So he says he's, ever as soon as he puts them on, they're on and it turns on, it's connected, whatever, never has any issues. Sergio uses them a lot more because he has the clear ones. He doesn't have the sunglasses. He has the ones that are prescription. So he wears them all the time. So since he's wearing them all the time, he's not particularly turning them on and off, on and off, on and off. When I put them down, I close them so it shuts them off. And then when I open them, they turn back on and then I put them on. So it takes a second for everything to just kind of get started, right? There's a pro and a con for that. So Sergio says that his battery life is probably a lot shorter than mine because they're always on. He has to remember to go in and shut them off in the button on the side. I don't ever really shut them off. I just close them and I put them to the side. Sometimes I put them in the charging case. Sometimes I don't. But to say the battery life has been pretty good. If you're recording a lot, if you're listening to music, if you're making phone calls a lot, the battery life will be significantly shorter. I did notice when I was recording a lot of behind the scenes at a shoot that it was dying a lot quicker. Like it would tell me 30% that it, I forgot what percentage it is. I think it's like 20% or something like that where it doesn't transfer to the app anymore, the footage. You have to charge it before it's able to transfer. So the battery life is good, not great, not amazing, but definitely not something to complain about. You can always just put them back in the case and then it'll start transferring everything over. For someone that has prescription and wears them all the time, you do have to remember to shut them off, turn them back on so that way it doesn't drain your battery. All in all though, I still, if, you, if I were to rate these things on a scale of one to 10, I would rate them a nine. I genuinely still enjoy the heck out of them. I just wanted to give you guys an update, those that watched the first video, of how good they are for other purposes than what I said in the original video. I still love the videos on it. I still love the photos on it. But I think the thing that's won me over the most is definitely the sound aspect of it. I mean, I just thought it would be a nice little update after two months of wearing them, how it feels after the honeymoon phase. As far as audio quality when it comes to phone calls, that's one thing that's kind of been a mixed bag. I've had, I would say, Eight or nine out of 10 people have told me that it's been completely fine, they haven't had any issues, they don't notice the difference. And there's always that one extra sensitive person who's gonna complain about it and say, I can't really hear you, what? Listen, I would say most of the time, 
people aren't gonna notice the difference. They're just gonna hear you on the phone and yeah, maybe it might sound not muffled, but maybe like you're in a large room or something like that, maybe echoey. So I would say as far as the audio goes, it's probably seven, eight out of 10. One of our viewers also left a comment and asked if it's worth getting them or waiting for the third generation, something along those lines. To be perfectly honest with you guys, I would probably get these like I have. I mean, granted these were a gift and I will more than likely be getting the third generation as well. I think that if all they can do is go up from here, I'm sold. The only thing that I, the only reason I wouldn't get them is if they just came up with like an improved version of what they are right now. I can't see that. The only thing that would make me get a different version is if they start implementing a little screen or something like that, like I mentioned in the previous one. If Apple is doing, I can't imagine that technology not trickling down eventually. I do think just like anything else, the first version is the most expensive. So I think once they implement something like that into the next Ray-Ban, hopefully Ray-Ban Meta glasses, that would be amazing. I do think these are selling well, I haven't checked, but I could imagine that they are because like I mentioned, they are, I do think that they're stylish glasses. They are very well implemented. They're not, they don't look like geeky glasses. So, so would I get these and then get the third generation? Yeah, I'd probably do that. I mean, you can always buy these, you know, three, 350, something like that, and then sell them for a hundred and a hundred, whatever, 150 when they, when they're the previous gen and then get the newer ones. I would do something like that because at the end of the day, I wear glasses all the time anyway. So just having all this technology in my face, like John Cena right over here, I think it's it's just nice to have. Just because I like to be fair, I wanted to mention something that Albert just asked me about whether these are worth it for the video aspect for social media and all that. And to be fair to these glasses, the reason I think also I haven't been using the video as much is because I got this, which is what you guys are seeing this on, it's the Osmo Pocket 3. And the Osmo Pocket 3 is so freaking good that I toned down using this because I'm using that to record behind the scenes on a wedding day or on a, an engagement session. So that also plays into why I'm not using it for video as much. So I just wanted to mention that, that that also plays into it for me. I think that maybe if I didn't have this, I may still be using the video capabilities a little bit more. So just a thought. Also, as far as price goes, are they expensive? Yeah, a little bit. But just like a month or two before that, my girl actually got me the some Louis Vuitton ones. And they're twice as expensive, I think, just about. And they don't do anything that this does. So yeah, I mean, are they expensive? Kind of. But for what they do, I think that they're worth every penny because you're getting headphones, you're getting sunglasses, and you're getting a camera, all for 300 bucks. So yeah, that's... Uh, something else I wanted to mention. And I know, listen, I'm gonna contradict myself in a way because I always talk smack about the Apple Watch. I think they're the corniest, nerdiest things. I always wear a regular watch. I never wear a smart watch. I'm not a fan of them. I think that they look too geeky, but that's, that's my take. That's why I like these glasses because they don't look geeky, but they have all these geeky things about them that make them great. So talk about great timing. So I was just in Target picking up a few things and you guys know how that goes. So as I was in there, I opened my glasses cause I was about to leave and it shows me this message. There's an update to the software and it's gonna have image quality improvements. We've made updates to noise reduction, auto exposure and color rendering. Your photos and videos will look sharper and clearer in lower light and you'll see improvements in sharpness and dynamic range for driving and on the go captures. Now, I remember in the original video, I talked about how pleased I was with the dynamic range to begin with. So if they've made improvements, I'm very curious to see what it looks like. I'm actually gonna go and test it out in the backyard right now. And as I'm talking right now, you guys are seeing if there's a difference or not. Yeah, I'm curious to see what that looks like. So right now it's updating and then it also said global volume control, which is obviously the feature that I've been using the most. Now you can, now you can control the volume of all sounds in one place on your glasses. We've added the ability to control the volume of voice commands and other sounds by swiping up and down on the glasses touchpad on your temple arm. So just like before where it's right here where you tap and then swipe up and down, you can change volume control, I guess, for other things, not just music. And I never really had an issue with that, but I guess that's something that they fixed. Now you can, you have the ability to change the volume of voice commands and other sounds, not just music. So I guess that's nice. On that note, another thing that Sergio and I were discussing this morning is that with the Meta glasses, it will auto play with Spotify. So if I tell it to play music, it'll play with Spotify, but it won't do that with 
YouTube music, which is I'm one of the two people in the world that use that. So it's specifically with Spotify. So for most people, that is fine. I Me, mean, I never talk to it to play music because I want to choose exactly what I want to play. So, I mean, I don't know. It was just something I, I guess I should mention. So you know what? Since this just threw a monkey wrench in my plans of the video I was originally making, I'm going to make another video after this. Do I actually see a difference in dynamic range? Do I actually see a difference at nighttime? So stay tuned for that video. I think I'll post it next week because I want to give it a proper thorough review. I'm going to start filming a lot more videos with the Ray-Ban glasses and see how it does during the day with the range and how it does at night with the noise reduction. If you guys, and this is heavy, that's why I'm moving sideways, but if you guys are enjoying the content that we've been putting out, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, that would be amazing because uh, most people who watch the video are not subscribed, so it'd be nice. Um, if you made it to the end, to this point, I mean, obviously you're enjoying watching it or you're really, really hating my face and you wanted to just keep hating until the very end. Either way, thank you for watching until the end, guys. Have a great weekend.